Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a short video. Um, I disassembled my old printer that got damaged by the water and uh, now I'm planning to build a new printer. Um, so I bought it, uh, some new aluminum extrusion that I will be using to do the new design. So I have, right now I have two legs, one and two here and I'm planning to use a aluminum extrusion to connect the two legs most likely I will use on the bottom of the legs uh, other two extrusion to uh, uh, to stop the, the, the printer to oscillate uh, and move and then these are the sides of the 3D printer so I have a long extrusion uh, on, a, uh, on the longer side, this is uh, 1600 millimeter, and the uh, shorter side is 900 millimeters. So I will have a, um, basically a rectangular frame, uh, and then I will have this uh, other extrusion in the middle. I think I have four to put to uh, make the uh, frame very stable and fixed so and I will attach this extrusion to this other uh, aluminum frame uh, and on the side here uh, if you can see it, let me move the yes on the side uh, here I will have the um, linear guides, let me get the linear guide. This guy, is, this guy here. So these are the linear guides that will go on the on the sides. Uh, so I can show right here, right there, one here and one on the other side. I will remove of course this aluminum extrusion and I will attach the linear guide to, to, to this side here to this side here so that uh, the the Z axis that will hold the um, the extruder the dual pellet extruder will be able to go vertical so here to, to this linear guide will be attached um, in, in, in this direction, in vertical direction, uh, will be attached a U frame that will hold the, uh, the extruders. I, I did another video uh, where I showed the design. So the entire Z frame, which contains the X axis and the Z, and the, extruder, the extruders will sh go up and down um, and then will go on the Y axis along this uh, linear guide um, and that's I changed the design like this because before I had the entire plate to was moving now the plate is fixed and it's actually uh, inside this big frame so I will buy a MDF uh, uh, panel that will uh, sit on top of this big uh, aluminum, aluminum uh, extruder, extrusion. Uh, and then I'll have the frame around. And the Z-axis uh, frame that goes up and down. Um, it's a different design. Uh, from what I see online, I got inspired by some other 3D printer online, big 3D printer online. And it seems like a good design for what I'm trying to achieve. My only concern is the legs. Right now I got two. Maybe I will need another two. Uh, I'm not sure of that. Uh, but I'm sure that I will need not only to fix on, on the on the plane side but on 
on the bottom so that the 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 legs don't you know don't move this this way when the printer when the Z frame is moving. Um, I just need to calculate where those legs uh, are be best to be put uh, along the Y axis and uh, I will of course uh, attach the big aluminum uh, extrusion to, to these other ones. Um, I have a bunch of uh, um, attachments so that is not a problem. What else? Uh, nothing else. For now I'm just assembling like this to have an idea of the dimension. Again, the dimension of this, this aluminum extrusion is 1600 by 900. The 3D printer um, plate will be smaller, so it will sit inside this frame and it will be attached to the uh, MDF uh, somehow. I'll figure out that that's not another, it's not an issue. I'm actually also uh, designing the new uh, uh, pallet extruders. Uh, I bought uh, some new drill bit that has a pressure uh, to make pressure inside the the tube and those are basically the drill bit that are used to do uh, filaments so pretty much the same now I have to figure out the tubing and how I attach the nozzle to the tube uh, because I don't have any more the extrusion extruder block the heating block sorry which was aluminum now it should be all um, stainless steel but I have in mind uh, how to do it, um, just need to confirm the design with some uh, company that are making it for me and hopefully it's not too expensive. Uh, some, to the design that I did, someone asked me like for $500 for one and I was like, are you kidding me? It's just the tubing and it costs like $5, uh, okay it's customized but uh, the price was crazy out of mind anyway so this is just a short video that I'm still working on this 3D printer big 3D printer uh -huh. dual pallet extruder uh, also I'm planning to uh, I need to buy again the pallets uh, the carbon fiber pallets uh, because the ones that I had got damaged uh, I'm not sure I will be able to use maybe just for testing but not for uh, real print printing um, and I'm planning to use uh, if I find the recycled nylon with 40% uh, carbon fiber uh, um, carbon fiber and with longer fiber so right now the the pallets are just one two millimeter big there are some new ones that are up to f 15 millimeter, uh, basically a centimeter and a half, so are very long. Um, again, the extruder uh, I will test. I will be implementing uh, induction heating, so the extruder will be all stainless steel, including the drill bit. So everything will be heating at the same temperature instead of before when you have uh, the aluminum block uh, that's is the aluminum block gets heated and then by uh, touching the tube it will heat the tube then the drill bit is actually not really touching the tube inside uh, so the heating is very different between the drill bit, the tube, and the aluminum block. Right now, instead, with induction heating, everything inside the coil will be heating at the same uh, at the same time. So this should improve, like the melting of the uh, carbon fiber and nylon. So that's what I'm up to. Uh, so in the coming weeks, I will be posting 
the build of this new 3D printer and the build of the new extruder uh, heating system. Um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave a comment in the discussion. In the comments down, um, put a like to this video, uh, share and subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing uh, new videos and um, it's going to be interesting, I think. So thank you very much and I'll see you next video. Bye.